the nitrogen cycle of a saltwater aquarium. The nitrogen cycle consists of ammonia, or NH3, nitrite, or NO2, and nitrate, or NO3. This cycle is a two-part process involving two kinds of nitrifying bacteria. During this time, the aquarium begins to mature as it develops the bacteria needed to perform the process endlessly throughout the life of the aquarium system. Step 1. Ammonia is converted to nitrite via ammonia oxidizing bacteria. Step 2. Nitrite is converted to nitrate via nitrite oxidizing bacteria. Nitrate is far less toxic to the aquarium inhabitants and is easier for the aquarius to remove from the system. The beneficial bacteria will continue to grow as more ammonia and nitrite is produced. Whenever uneaten food and fish waste break down in the aquarium, ammonia forms and the cycle continues. Once nitrite is converted to nitrate, the conversion stops. If there is no method of nitrate export, the NO3 levels will continue to rise and become an issue for the aquarium inhabitants. Doing regular water changes will help keep nitrates at sustainable levels However, this may not be enough. Employing natural and chemical methods can help. For the sake of this video, we will focus on the natural methods. One of the most popular methods of nitrate export is macroalgae, such as catomorpha. The catomorpha, or cato for short, is usually kept in a dedicated area of the aquarium sump with sufficient flow and light to allow for the macro to grow. When it has grown sufficiently, Part of the chato is harvested and removed from the system. This will in turn remove nitrates from the aquarium. Another natural export method is that of an algae turf scrubber or ATS. In this setup, water trickles down a screen and lights are set to shine on both sides of the screen. This will allow for maximum photosynthesis, growing turf algae faster than in the main display of the aquarium. Thus, the ATS outcompetes other areas where algae can grow. When this turf algae is removed from the screen and discarded, nitrate is effectively being removed from the aquarium. Once the cycle has completed, the bacteria will continue to convert ammonia to nitrite and nitrite to nitrate. However, this does not mean that a lot of fish should be added to the aquarium all at once. The bacteria will need to have time to multiply to handle a bigger nitrogen cycle Therefore, adding livestock at a slower pace is a wise course of action. This is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and this has been the Nitrogen Cycle of a Saltwater Aquarium.